You know, since DeWolf is throwing a cocktail party, we better make some cocktails, right? Joining me now from DeWolf is uh, restaurant manager Kate Turner, who's going to show us three different drinks that are kind of specialties at DeWolf, right? What are we going to do here? Um, first, we're going to do a Bloody Mary, and then uh, Lawrence is actually going to fix us up with a shrimp cocktail to go on the rim of that. Oh, nice. Okay. Then we're going to do a pear martini made with uh, Grey Goose Lapois, and then uh, my dining room assistant's uh, specialty sangria, which oh, is very super nice. good, well, and it's really quick. Let's so. start with the Bloody Mary. All right. So kind we're of gonna, a classic. Yeah. Um, we're going to just take some vodka. You can use whatever you like. We're using Grey Goose today. Okay. And um, we make homemade Bloody Mary mix. Very cool. So it's kind of on the spicy tomato, side. Tomato, spicy. Uh, it's tomato, horseradish, a little chili paste. So it's got, got a, a kick to of, it. Yeah, it's going to be a spicy one. Just have that a good shake. And then... And this is kind of a great um, brunch drink as well, right? Oh, it's super great at any time of day. People like Bloody Mary's always. Yes. And especially Ooh, I smell it already. It smells <laughs> nice. Especially for a cocktail party, if you're going to throw some cocktail on the rim, it's mm -hmm. a great way to go. That so it's a great idea because then it kind of becomes half appetizer, half drink. Yeah, and it's both in the, you know, it kind of acts as the cocktail sauce. I love that. Um, so we just have a little tri-pepper rim okay. there. It's just going to add to the spice. It looks like there's a little sand on the rim or something. <laughs> so... All right, All right. leave a little room so that the shrimp can go in there. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to take a little sip of this, and why don't you make the next one the okay. pear martini? The pear martini is really simple. So again, we're just going to we use the Grey Goose Le Pois, which has <laughs> it has a really great um, pear flavor. <laughs> it's really like true to you know a nice fresh pear. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go pretty heavy on the pour. It's yes. a mostly vodka drink. By the way, just so you know, she's not lying. That's uh, that would be right up to here is the. <laughs> And then we make um, sour mix from scratch. So it's basically just a mixture of simple syrup, fresh mm -hmm. lime juice, and fresh lemon juice. Very um, nice. So. And just so you know, all these uh, in these recipes for these drinks are uh, on foxprovidence.com. So nice. I'll get you the glass. And what did you rim this with? Uh, it's just sugar. So you just take a lemon wedge and run it around the rim of the glass. And I think this might be my favorite. But you're going to whip up a sangria, really which is also another classic yeah, favorite of we're mine. We're just going to give that a little twist. So essentially, you just... Pop that in. That is good. That will wake you up in the morning. <laughs> and then the sangria has got a bunch of different ingredients. So we're going to start with Burkhardi. You can use any white rum. Mm -hmm. About an ounce of that. Then a little peach tree. Maybe like a half an ounce of that. Sangria is great because you don't really have to be exact about anything. Yeah, you can kind of throw in whatever you have, yeah. right? So then a little bit some, of fruit, whatever fruit you have. Yeah, and then we had triple sec. They're going to top it with any red wine. Okay. Or you can use white wine, too, if you want to make a white sangria. Those are fun, too. And then... Um, so a sweet wine works better mm -hmm. for this. And and I'm just going to show, as you shake that up, I'm just going to show the result of the sangria here. Get a little sip. It's so good. Mm. Very good. I tried to talk and drink at the same time. <laughs> That's not very successful. And hey, Michelle, I have to tell you, uh, it's not exactly the weather for uh, one of these beach <laughs> drinks, but I tell you, it's already taken me away in my mind. They're always popular. <laughs> hey, well,